this whole lineup here are all people honking and what does it say? Legalized freedom, masks lower immunity, leaving you susceptible. What is it? I'm just reading their signs. Turn off the TV. It's got a big unicorn or something on the top of that one. All the way down that way over that way. Money Yates is burning down. Oh, it's gone. I am Mr. Timster, Sir Timmy, the Timmy man, nominated this morning for the Tim Run, the official opening of the day Tim Run. So here we are. Just woke up a little while ago. I'm in my pajamas still. Because <laughs> we don't care. It's Saturday. We don't care. We're getting a candy cane white hot chocolate with some espresso. Oh, it's going to start the day off right. i tell you what. And I also told Britt I was going to make her breakfast this morning. Uh, we're going to have eggs and bacon and tomato and I don't know, in a sandwich. The plan for today is to relax because it's Saturday, but it was also the day that we had planned to put up the Christmas lights outside. I was hoping it'd be a little bit warmer than this, but I don't think it's going to get any warmer. I'm pretty sure that this is uh, going to be one of the warmest days until next spring. I'm pretty sure this guy in front of me is ordering like Christmas dinner or something. He's just going and going and going. <laughs> wow, I guess you can't go inside now. Usually when you have bigger orders, you would be courteous enough to go inside, right? But now they have the inside locked, so you have to go through the drive-thru, so. Oh, look at this, we're here. We're next. All right, everybody, let's not mess this up. I'm still pretty tired. Don't mess this up. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, could I get two extra large candy cane white hot chocolates with two shots of espresso in each? Okay, sorry, that was two candy cane hot chocolates large? Yeah, extra large. And then you wanted, sorry? Uh, two espresso shots in each one. Okay. Can I get you anything else? Nope, that's it. Can I come to the energy five, please? Thank you. No problem. I think I did good. Now it's their turn. Will they do good? Because now if they mess up your order, you can't go inside and say, hey, you messed up my order. You gotta go all the way back around in the drive-thru. I guess. Got the Tim cards. Don't worry. We're set. I forgot the super duper. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe that's why they're taking so long. Maybe they think there's something wrong. He didn't say super duper. I meant it in my mind. I just woke up. Okay, it's gonna be a super duper day, but it's kind of a dilemma because I need, I need the Timmy's first and then it'll be super duper. We're working our way there, maybe later. <laughs> this guy in front of me seriously ordered for like 50 people. He's waiting at the window, just bag after bag after bag is coming out of the window into his truck. <laughs> wow. Oh. We got the goods. Oh, it smells like candy canes in here now. That is a, that's a good wake up right there. Oh, that's the way to wake up. 
Have you guys tried it yet? Candy cane white hot chocolate. I'm not trying to do an ad, I'm just saying it's good. You're missing out if you haven't had it yet. Don't hit the curb, don't hit the curb. We did that the other day right in front of the cops. Don't do that. Okay, good. All right. I am in such a good mood now. Oh, 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 I'm excited. You know, I can get home and it's still gonna be hot. I love living so close to Tim's. So somebody messed up. I'm gonna have to go back in my footage and see if it was me or if it was Tim's. Did I ask for white hot chocolate? I said white, right? They gave us both regular hot chocolate. Hi, right, could I get two extra large candy cane white hot chocolates with two shots of espresso in each? Okay, sorry, that was two candy cane hot chocolates, large? Yeah, extra large. Okay, the verdict is in. I don't know if it was me or if it was the person on the intercom, but I, I initially asked for white hot chocolate and then she came back to clarify it. Okay, was that candy cane hot chocolate? And I said yes. That's okay, I'm not upset either way. I like both. They're both delicious and terrible for you, but it's the spirit of Christmas in a cup, so. But I did get it right. Yeah, you did, I heard it. But then she changed it, and then I confirmed it. That's okay. I'm uh, not upset. Now the day is just gonna be super, not super duper. Oh, it's still gonna be super duper, you wait. Hmm? Wait. Oh boy. Come on, boys. Wanna help me carry the Christmas lights in? It is definitely a nice day out. I should be getting these Christmas lights up today. So I'm gonna get them out of the shed here. I'm gonna bring them inside, let them completely warm up. I've got our timer lights here. I turn on when it gets dark for the Christmas lights so that the lights aren't on all day. They just turn on once the sun goes down. Or we can have them on all day. It's our choice. I'm running out of daylight today and there's so many other things I'm trying to get done that I don't think we're gonna get to hanging up any Christmas lights today, but I did get them inside. We've got Frosty all set up here, but I think he's gonna stay in here till tomorrow and I'm gonna work on it in the next couple of days. On Wednesday, on Wednesday it's supposed to be plus four out Celsius, so that's even warmer than today. It'll be a perfect day to get everything done. Hopefully we can get it done before then, but look at the sun over there. It goes down so early and I woke up a little bit late today. It's the weekend. And it's surprising how much day daylight gets wasted when you do that. There's a big protest in town today. Everybody's honking. I think it's an anti-lockdown protest from what I've read in the news. I just wanna get my truck registered. They're in my way. That's okay. I have no comment on the protest. I just need to get my truck registered. <laughs> so I'll go do a U-turn and I'll go back around. There's a lot of them. There had been like a hundred cars. I'm in the protest line. No, oh, no. I can't get out of it. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. There's quite a, quite a few people here. This whole line up here are all people honking and what does this say? Legalized freedom. Masks lower immunity, leaving you susceptible. What is that? I'm just reading their signs. Remember, freedom, remember, let not their fight be in vain. What does this guy say? Isolation is a form of torture. Everyone deserves choice. This guy here says we are not anti-mask, we're pro-freedom. It's a lot of people. Like it goes all the way down that way. All the way down that way over that way. Wow. For such a small town, I mean, we got, uh, we got a huge turnout for this protest. There's more over here yet. They're just stuck at the light. 
One guy all by himself. Get her, bud. <laughs> gotta catch up with all your friends over there. Oh, yeah, you got That one says turn off the TV. It's got a big unicorn or something on the top of that one. I heard in the news that this protest is coming through town today, but I, I wasn't actually expecting this kind of a turnout. I was telling Britt, I was like, it's probably gonna be a dud and there's probably gonna be like 15 people that show up. Yikes. That's a lot of people. So if I remember correctly, I believe this was an anti-lockdown protest because the lockdowns just started here again, right? Like you guys know, you've been watching my videos. There's a ton of people out there that don't like that. And that's their right, you go and protest. Well, apparently I am very special because I forgot that it was Saturday and we can't get our insurance done till Monday now. The process just keeps getting dragged out. Oh, just one more day. Oh, just one more day. Oh, just one more weekend. So Monday morning, I'll go and take this truck in. And get it done then. <laughs> Just keeps getting dragged out. It's Saturday. Of course it is. So that protest, I tried to find them. They, they got away from me. I was going to go and see what it was all about. No idea where they went. But uh, pretty sure that what I read yesterday, that there was a... Uh, what they were saying was going to be a big, large, anti-lockdown uh, anti protest. And I guess that was it. That was actually, like I was saying, there's a few hundred cars, I would say. At least, at least 100 to 200 cars. Wow. That's impressive. I just don't know where they went. I know they didn't, like, go far. Maybe they went to the next town. I don't know. Pretty sure that this was the Steinbeck one. And they all got like flags on all their vehicles and trucks and stuff too. Eh? So I thought it would be easy to find them. I thought they might be like in the mall parking lot here at Clear Spring. I don't see them in there anywhere. I thought that would be the place to gather, you know? I don't know, maybe they're doing another loop. Maybe they're going around town again. And like I said, I have no comment on it. I totally understand their argument and what they're protesting. And I understand somewhat of why they would want to implement the lockdowns. I, I don't really want to go into it on my channel here, whether or not it's uh, obviously uh, an issue that there are a lot of people on both sides on. So I'll just be a nice little fence sitter here for you and be like, no comment. I'm glad they're getting out there and organizing and standing up for what they believe is tyranny and uh, not being quiet about it right even if like all these lockdowns are justified you know you don't want you don't always want governments to be like oh wow look how far we could push them nobody even pushed back oh maybe we'll go a little further next time you know i get what they're saying well there's one protester still all by himself oh. but uh i get it that's why i say i get both sides and i'm not a doctor and i'm so glad that i'm not in charge of deciding whether or not to lock down the province. I'm so glad that doesn't rest on my shoulders because I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, man. I have no idea. There are people who have spent their lives studying this kind of stuff, virologists and doctors and stuff like that. They, they know what's going on. And right now, we're one of the hot spots. And I have no reason to say anything, I guess. I figured I'd mention it's going through town. I mean, not every day we have a protest rolling through Steinbeck. Our insurance place, they don't even let you come inside. Because of the lockdowns, uh, pretty much you have to stay separate from people. So I'm allowed to be in my vehicle and drive around. We're not in prison. I'm allowed to drive around. I'm allowed to go places. Only one person per household can go into a store uh, if you need food or whatever else you need to get. Uh, but uh, we're not allowed to visit 
between households for the next four weeks. We can visit over like uh, Skype or Facebook Live or something, but we can't uh, go to people's other households, even if they are family, unless if they need care and they need your help, if they're a vulnerable uh, people. And like when I went to go get my insurance done today before I realized that they were closed, uh, pretty much what you do is you pull up to the building there and you call them from outside and then they'll get everything ready for you and then they'll do as much as they can, I guess, at the door with you or they'll let you in just to get what you need done, done. And then uh, send you on your way. I don't know, there's restrictions. We're not in prison, but it is a little bit inconvenient. There's a Mountie. Act natural. Act cool. He's right beside us. There he goes. Do any of you do that too when you pull up beside a cop at the light? You try so hard to act natural that you actually look suspicious. <laughs> I love our cops. We got good cops in town here. They're really good. Never had a bad experience with them, but then again, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't have many experiences with them at all. So I'm going to head back home now, let Brett know that I couldn't get done when I needed to get done. I'm still uh, working on a few things from yesterday on the computer. My steering wheel and my uh, pedals and the live streaming stuff came in today. I'm excited to do a live stream. If this light ever turns green, see, all you gotta do is get mad at it and then it works every time. That's so all you gotta do is you just gotta get really mad and yell at it. And it lets you go. That's why I say I totally understand the protest. I wasn't a part of it, but uh, I'm not gonna stand in their way. Have at it, good people. Let them know what you think. Let them know how you're feeling. Don't let them go too far, you know? Don't let the government go too far. Totally get it. Well, my packages came today. I'm very excited to test them out. Check this out. Check it out, and I'll put them on the counter here where it's better light. Look at this, eh? So I've got uh, my gaming headset here, complete with mic and everything else. I've got the pedals here. Steering wheel, this is for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. I'm still gonna be playing some of that too, but uh, gonna be doing some live streaming as soon as I got it all, get it all set up. I've got my computer on a wired connection now instead of just Wi-Fi. We have really fast internet here, but I figure I'm gonna wire it up anyways just to make sure I get the best quality stream I can. I'm new though, so I probably got some learning to do still yet. I was trying to uh, practice a little bit yesterday and get used to the, or the day before, used to the stream but uh, I'm using OBS Studios uh, operating system and I can't seem to get a clear picture on the stream and I, I can't figure I'm gonna have to do some research some learning well baby steps the first few streams we'll be learning but uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to uh, getting my truck and fix while I'm here at home so here's the setup took me a while to get it all figured out but I think we're good. I'm just gonna have to practice so that I get a little bit better so I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna lure some freight. That's cool, that's cool. I'll be live streaming with you guys soon. Maybe you guys can come hang out with me and teach me a thing or two. Show me how this thing works. There's a lot of flashy lights out here. McMunn and Yates is burning down. Hole. Oh. It's gone. Oh my. I'm gonna have to get out of this lane. I'm gonna have to get out of this lane. They're letting me in there. Yikes. That's McMud and Yates hardware. Holy smokes. It's actually just, it's gone. Oh. It looks like a total loss. Yikes, you got the whole town out here watching too. Oh, wow. That's 
that's not good. I found a safe place to park. I'm gonna walk over there and take a closer look. It looks like the whole building's just gone already. That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, they got the fire department around the whole building. The police. Probably don't want me to go much closer than this, I'm guessing. Looks like they've been clearing everybody away. Oh, the whole front of the building there, you see it? Yikes. They got the ladder truck up out there. Let's see if I can go to the sidewalk and get a view from the front. I think this is about as close as they're gonna let me get. So yeah, they've got a an excavator ripping the building apart right now. That's definitely a total loss. town out here watching. I feel so bad for the owners. That's a total loss. That's a total loss. Not much more to show you guys now. I just want to make sure I stay out of the way. I was just, I'm just blown away with how that, wow, that's big. That's a huge fire. I wonder how that happened. Very sad with everything else going on in the world right now. These guys who own this place have got to deal with this yet. <sighs> Hopefully no foul play was involved. Well, what do you think? We got a pencil tree this year, so it's a small house, so we got a small tree. Some presents under there already. I think Britt did a fantastic job decorating that. Let's see if we can turn on some light and I'll be able to show it to you tomorrow when there's more natural light in here too. It's hard to see anything in the dark. Do you like it? So, another day is done. Tomorrow, uh, my project is to get started on those Christmas lights because I didn't get to them today. Didn't have the time. Uh, we did get to a live stream. Have you guys seen the live stream already? I believe I, I'm i gonna put it into a separate playlist, but it was called TJV ATS first live stream number one, something like that. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Hung out for about an hour and a half with you guys on the live stream. Appreciate all you guys who were able to make it to hang out with me. I'll be doing another live stream tomorrow, which is today when you're watching that. So pay attention to all my Facebook, Twitter, Parler, Instagram. I'm going to announce on there about an hour before, or well before, maybe a couple hours before I go live, just so you guys know. And then from then on, uh, next week I'll probably do a live stream on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm thinking. But I'll let you guys know. I want to create a little bit more of a schedule for you so you know. If you want to come and hang out with us live, then you know when to find us. Exactly. Another project for me tomorrow is uh, this. We got a solar powered yard light, uh, motion light for the backyard, because our backyard is very dark. There's no light back there whatsoever. And uh, we don't want to exactly pay for an electrician right now to run power around there to have powered lights on the back of our house. So we got a solar powered one. I'm probably gonna mount it to one of the sheds in the back facing this way, facing the yard, so that when Chevy and Diesel run back there, that the yard gets lit up, right? And sort of see what we're doing. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow will be another video. Again, about 38% of you still aren't subscribed, so I encourage you, go down below. Today's the day. Today's the day, right? Down below, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you here tomorrow when we make new videos every day. Good night, everyone.